Hi everyone, Nicole here joining you from Wichita, Kansas with a gentle yoga class on your Genesis Go channel. Uh, for today's class, just an open space in your home, a yoga mat if you have one available. Um, we'll spend about 30 minutes stretching out the body, relaxing the mind, and really giving you a fresh start for the rest of your day. We'll get started. Let's get started in a seated position. Sounding, finding a space where you can let the shoulders rest on top of the hips. The ears balance on top of the shoulders. The corners of the jaw, the mouth soften. Observe the breath as it comes into the body. Notice the areas that open and lift. As you exhale, observe the areas that soften and release. Keeping the breath smooth and calm, smooth breath in, the areas that open and lift. Equally important, the areas that soften and release as you exhale. This time, as you breathe in, turn the palms up, sweep the arms overhead, looking up toward the hands. Exhale, bring the hands down toward the heart to release. Take the right hand beside you. Continue to stay uh, rooted down through both sitting bones. Turn the left palm up and reach the left arm over. Start by looking toward the right hip. Think of pressing the left side of the waist toward the left side of the room. Still pressing down through both sitting bones to find length. And then from here, you can tilt the head to look underneath the arm. Staying here, take a breath in. Stay here as you exhale, settling into the sitting bones. And then bend to the elbow, bring the shoulders upright. Smooth breath in, both arms sweep. Hands come down to the heart to release. Toward our other side, left hand will come down on the mat, left elbow and shoulder soften, right arm reaches over. You're starting by looking toward that left hip, so you can press down through both sides of the hips lengthen through the right side of the waist. You can have the feeling of pressing that side of the rib cage toward the right side of the room to find length and space in that area. You can then tilt the head to look underneath the right arm as you lengthen. Staying here, taking a breath in. Stay here as you exhale, settling into the hips. And then bend the elbow, bring the shoulders upright. Smooth breath in, both arms sweep. Hands come down toward the heart. And let's switch the cross of the legs just for a moment, and we'll come onto the back. From here, you'll walk your hands forward, letting the chin nod in toward the chest, pressing down through both hands. Continue to press down through the hips so you can find this opening through the outside of the hips and through the low back. Find length through the back of the neck. Forehead, top of the head, relax. Opening the space along the sides of the shoulders. Letting the elbows soften. Walk the hands back toward the body. Bring to the spine upright. Smooth breath in, arms sweep up. Interlace the fingers, bend the elbows, reach the palm of the hand toward the front of the mat, or the palms of the hands toward the front of the mat. Nod the chin in toward the chest. Just a different way of opening up that space in between the shoulders. And you can bend the elbows out to the sides of the room to add to this space. And unwind the arms, bring the shoulders upright. Let's bring the knees to center. We'll come on to the back from here, so I'll turn sideways. Soles of the feet are down. Hands will help bring you back onto the back. Bring the knees into the chest of the shoulders, the back of the head rest. Keeping the front of the ribs relaxed as you breathe in, feel the low back expand side to side as if we're sliding across the surface of the mat. 
and allow it to slide back towards center as you exhale. We'll keep the right knee in, straighten the left leg so the heel is down on the mat, and toes point up toward the ceiling. If this is a lot on your low back, you can bend the knee and keep the sole of the foot down and stay here. You'll still get a nice stretch that way. Otherwise, hands stay behind the back of the right knee. Your right foot will then reach up toward the ceiling. The knee does not have to straighten here. You will begin to feel the stretch along the back of the leg. If you draw the top of the foot back toward you, you'll add that stretch to the calf. Hands can stay as they are. If you're feeling a little bit more bendy today, you can begin to walk the hands up in the direction of the feet, the foot. Hold on to the big toe with the right hand if you're feeling even more ambitious. Try to keep both sides of the shoulders, the torso level, so you aren't tilting to one side or twisting, trying to achieve a deeper stretch. That's just gonna cause other areas of the body to work more than the knee. Bend to the right knee, so you're coming back to your starting position. Take your left hand, place it on the front of the left hip. Right hand will hold on to the front of the knee. The knee will come out toward the right side of the mat, and then you're using that elbow and shoulder as a kickstand. So it's just a, a gentle inner thigh stretch. Still staying grounded through the left side of the body so the spine isn't twisting or the hips aren't rolling over toward the side. Now you can keep the leg as it is, or you can begin to reach the right leg out to the side to add in that inner thigh stretch, still supporting the leg with the right hand. You're reaching the inside of the right heel away from the inner thigh. Bend the knee. Bring the leg back over the hip, so you're starting position. Now left hand holds on to the front of the knee. Right hand comes out beside you, rolling onto the outside of the left hip. Left elbow is a kickstand this time to support the right knee. Chest is open toward the ceiling. Think wide through the front of the shoulders. Back of the head stays light. It doesn't have to be really deep breaths in this twist, just keeping them even and letting go of some of the effort. Nothing too deep, nothing too extreme. And release to the outside of the right hip. You have one more moment here. Bring the leg back to center. Bring both knees in toward the body. And then reach the legs long, reach the arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Allow the low back to arch. Reach through the heels, through the hands. The right leg will stay as it is. The left knee will bend in toward the body this time. We'll stay here for just a moment, feeling the stretch through the front of the right hip. You need to level out the shoulders or recenter yourself with the mat. And we'll come into the hamstring stretch with this leg. So hands stay interlaced behind the back of the leg. Left leg will begin to reach toward the ceiling. The knee does not have to straighten. You may find out that you're getting a hamstring stretch with the knee still bent, and that's okay. Drawing the top of the foot back will add that calf stretch to the knee pose. If you'd like, you can begin walking hands up the back of the leg and finding new distance. And maybe that this side feels very different from the previous. You aren't forcing it to match, you're just letting it be what it is option of holding on to the big toe with the left hand if you want to take it there. Finding those areas that you can soften so that you can feel the stretch more fully. Bend the left knee, bring it back to its starting position. 
The left hand will hold on to the knee, right hand rests on the front of the hip just to keep it steady. Left knee comes over to the side to stretch the inner thigh. Left elbow is a kickstand to support the knee. Shoulders, both sides of the hips stay level, centered with the mat. You can keep the knee bent or play with straightening the leg or beginning to reach the leg away from your body, adding to that inner thigh stretch. Keep the heel away from the sitting bone. Bend the left knee. Bring the leg back over the hip. Now your right hand will hold on to the front of the knee. Left hand comes out beside you for this twist, rolling onto the outside of the right hip, outside of the right foot. Right elbow as a kickstand to help support the knee. Shoulders open in the direction of the ceiling. The throat stays relaxed. And stretch through the outside of the left hip. Slowly unwind, bring the leg back to center. Hug both knees in toward the body. And then reach the legs long, arms reach overhead, and full body stretch. Bend the knees, bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. We'll open through the front of the body one more time, and then we'll come onto the stomach after this one. Uh, knees are bent with the feet flat on the mat. Hands will come beside you, they're about a foot away from the hips, so you can. Keep the elbows straight and the shoulders relaxed. We'll come into a small bridge pose. So this is not your most extreme bridge. You're pressing into the feet and the back of the shoulders as you lift the hips. So you feel the front of the knees lengthen away from the hips. The front of the chest opens. And then from here, you'll reach the arms overhead so the knuckles rest on the mat. Elbows can bend out to the side. We're adding that length through the sides of the body and this opening through the chest. Slowly lower the hips, sweep the arms back over. So the hands, the hips will land back in their starting position. You'll take a fresh breath in. And we'll do this two more times. This time the hips, the arms move together. You're pressing into the feet to lift the hips. The arms sweep overhead so the knuckles rest on the mat. Finding an opening in space along the sides of the body. As you exhale, sweeping the arms back over, the hips slowly lower. Coming back to your starting position, take a fresh breath, let the low back and lift. Last one, pressing into the feet, lifting the hips, the arms sweep overhead, opening through the front of the body, front of the shoulders. Exhale, so lowering the hands, the hips. Go ahead and straighten the legs in between here. Give yourself that pause. From here, roll over onto one side, bend the knees. Roll over to the side, use the hands to help yourself come up to a seated position. And we'll come onto the stomach, the chest from here. Just do a few rounds of back bends to continue that opening through the shoulders and the front of the body. Send the toes back and take the uh, feet out to the edges of the mat. This is a little easier on the low back and the hips. Hands are beside the shoulders. Palms are flat, your elbows pull back. Low cobra, hands stay light in the beginning. Lift the front of the chest away from the mat. Look about a foot in front of your torso so that the neck stays balanced on top of the spine. Take a couple of breaths here. Smooth, steady, legs are active. 
neck is soft. Lower down on the exhale, the chin nods in, the forehead comes down to the mat. Low cobra, smooth breath in to lift the shoulders away from the mat. So without rocking, you're keeping the hips level, the shoulders level. You'll bend to the right knee so the right foot goes up toward the ceiling, adding a quad stretch here. Lower the right foot down, turn the head so the right side of the face rests. Stretching through the back, the side of the neck. Bring the chin back to center. Again, low cobra. This time the left knee bends, toes go up toward the ceiling, stretching along the front of the left thigh, the left quad. Lower the left foot down, turn the head so the left side of the face rests on the mat. Go back and expand as you breathe. Bring the chin back to center. Press up onto hands and knees, tabletop. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together. Sit back toward the heels for child's pose. Allow the forehead to rest on the mat. Outside of the hips, release. Front of the shins, the ankles, stay relaxed and soft. Walk the hands over, both hands will walk over toward the left side of the mat. So this will be stretching through the right side of the waist. Shoulders are level. Head still releases in between the arms. Feel the outside of the shoulders wrap down toward the mat. Right side of the waist opens toward the side of the room. Walk the hands back to center. Now we'll come over toward the right side, which will stretch the left side of the waist. Both hands are down. The head rests in between the upper arms. Left side of the waist opens toward the left side of the mat. Outside of the shoulder, soften down. Bring the hands back to center. Come forward onto hands and knees. We'll thread the needle here. So we'll start, actually, I'll turn toward you so you can see me. The right hand, the right elbow is what will lift and lower you from the mat. So you are pressing into the side of, head, of the head to come out of this. Turn your left palm up toward the ceiling. Thread it underneath the right arm. Now that right arm slowly bends to lower you. So you land softly on the outside of the left shoulder, left side of the head rest. This right hand can stay here to help support the body, or the right hand can inch itself forward so you find that stretch to the side of the waist again. Look in the direction of the left hand that will help keep the back of the neck relaxed. Walk the right hand closer toward you. Right palm presses about the side of the head. The right hand will press to unwind. Come back, hands and knees, tabletop. Do one round of cat cow in between. Inhale, let your abdomen and chest sink down. Look forward. Exhale, round the back. Look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Neutral spine, your flat back. Left hand will stay down this time. Right palm turns up toward the ceiling. You thread it underneath. 
lightly landing on the outside of the right shoulder, right side of the head rests. Left hand can stay in front of you or walk forward. Chin nods in toward the chest. Steady, smooth breathing. Slowly walk the left hand closer toward the body. Left hand presses to unwind you. Back to that hands and knees position. And one round of cat-cow. Inhale, the abdomen and chest sink down. You look forward, the spine sinks down toward the mat. Keep the shoulders wide. Exhale, round the back and look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Elbows stay straight. A neutral spine, your flat back. From here, we're crossing over the legs, coming to a seated position. Dandasana, grabbing a drink in between. Both legs will reach forward, toes point up toward the ceiling. So if you feel like you're rolling backwards or if the feet are wanting to roll out, you can use the hands to help prop you a little more upright, or you can take the feet a few inches apart. Sometimes that feels better for the low back, the hips. Take a breath in, sweep the arms up, fold forward on the exhale. If you aren't able to reach the feet, you can still hold on to the outside of the calves. Hands can either come, even come beside each other, beside the legs on your mat to help support you. Finding what works for your body today. And today may be very different from the previous. And being patient with that. Noticing some area of progress in your practice. So you walk yourself upright. Bend the knees, hands come beside you, we'll ease ourselves back onto the back. Bend the knees in toward the chest. Lower the soles of the feet onto the mat, knees will stay bent. Baddha Konasana, bound to angle, the knees will come out wide, soles of the feet come together. And you have your option here. You can rest with the hands on the front of the hips. That may feel nice for you today. Or you can take the arms really wide and just give yourself a bend to the elbows so the front of the shoulders can soften. Take the option that works for you. The inner thighs length. Slight arch to the low back, that's okay. Chin and chest soften away from one another. Take the hands to the outside of the legs. Bring the knees back to center. Hug the knees in toward the body. And reach the legs long, arms reach overhead, less full body stretch. Coming into your final shavasana, the arms will come out wide beside you. The feet come out wide, the ankles roll out to the sides of the mat. The eyes move in the direction of the ceiling and the eyelids softly close. Allow 
allowing yourself to be present in this stillness. Noticing the small shifts that take place naturally without having to try as you breathe in. Those small shifts that take place as you exhale. Observing how the body is taking care of you. Body is taking responsibility for breathing. Allowing you to release work. Attention back into the room. A small movement to the fingers, to the toes. Rolling out the wrists and the ankles. And bending the knees, soles of the feet come onto the back. Rolling over toward the right side, right shoulder and hip come onto the ground. Use the hands to press the body up to a seated position. Bring the palms to touch in front of you. Eyes softly closed. So notice the changes that you create. Finding the good in this moment. Take a full breath in here, feel the chest expand and lift. As you exhale, chin comes in toward the chest, the shoulders release. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your yoga practice today, for allowing me to come into your home. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of time for you. If you'd like to check out any of our yoga classes or any of the exercises that you may need during this time, you can take a look at our uh, Genesis Facebook page or the Genesis Go YouTube channel. There's just about anything you could need. And we'll have more coming your way soon. Thank you so much. Take care.